there's a story about the legend about the bison uh, from the Apache legend, how the bison uh, was one of the key figures to get the Apaches staged up from the underworld to the Turtle Island, which is where we are right now. The idea was that the bisons had long horns, they had extremely long horns that they would intersect, two bisons would connect their horns together kind of like this, and they'd create steps so the, as they layered themselves throughout the uh, hillside of the underworld, they could actually climb up and all the animals and humans would climb on the horns of the bison that were connected like this. But over time, the horns would get shorter and shorter because they would start breaking and breaking, Eventually, it got to the point where they had just a stub of a horn, and the last of the um, life down in the underworld was able to come up, and then they were the last to go up. So now today we have bisons with small horns instead of the long straight horns that they used to have in old times, according to legend. So visualize the horns, the bison's horns like this, and how a bison, if you observe it, uh, utilizing the horns, they actually take the horns and they're, they're going to go to the person on one side. If, they, if the horn gets stuck on this side, they're going to take the other horn, they're going to turn and jerk the neck, and they're going to go from the opposite way. So that's where we get the battle tactics of switching horns. So visualize there's two horns or two grips. I'm just going to visualize, uh, just utilize it with one knife for now. And it doesn't matter if you're in the talon grip or the sky grip, it can be practiced either way. I'm going to come at him, but he's going to grab my wrist. So he grabs the wrist and it's locked into place. And instead of wasting time struggling and doing the dramatic scene like you see on movies, I'm just going to take this hand and switch horns and I'm going to come at the other angle. If he grabs it from that side, no problem. I have this one free and I can go from this position. And it could be a, a, a matter of chess game. So I can be going here, he can grab it, and I just follow up. If he grabs it a second time, no problem, I can follow it up. If it doesn't do there, you can release it and go there. So it doesn't matter how many times it takes me to switch horns. I go here, you might grab that one, and then don't grab the second one. Boom, it's over. This time he grabs the second one, so now i got to do it here. Don't grab that one, now it's over. Now I'll do it with the four count. You grab, you grab, you grab, and then on this one you're not going to grab. And then it kind of creates that, uh, that rhythm. I come at you on this angle, he grabs, don't grab the second one. This time you grab and grab, and then I release it and go here. This time you give me three grabs. One, two, three, and the fourth one I get up. So you can kind of play back and forth on that one. So you guys will practice here. So first just one grab, switch horns. Then switch horns on the, after the second grab. Now switch horns after the third grab. Switch rolls, other person attacks. So just one grab. Now I'll switch horns off the second grab. Switch horns off the third grab. Two. Uh, or the second. One more time. One grab, switch horns, two grabs, switch horns, three grabs, switch, and then the third. Yep. Good.